this is so gorgeous it's such a beautiful stretch the highest point of the upper side path it's so quiet and like you're traveled back in time a little bit this is such a nice stretch today and it looks like i have to walk in complete almost complete darkness for a whole kilometer this is really a bit scary hi my name is ellie i'm a long distance hiker and backpacker with my rescue dog otto i'm currently hiking the length of britain from scotland to cornwall come along for days 80 to 82 where we hiked over the black mountains from hay on wye to pandy then from pandy to monmouth and on to chepstow where we finished the offer Dyke path. Coffee! <laughs> Good morning! We had a bit of a late start today. We slept in a little bit and also we waited out a bit of the rain. We're gonna hike up the Black Mountains today, which is one of the highlights um, of the Offa Dyke Path. We are now in the Brecon Beacons National Park and yeah, the Black Mountains are a mountain area so basically we're going to hike up and it's also the highest point on the Offa Steig path I think a bit over 700 meters high we're gonna hike up and then most of today is walking basically on the ridge so over the mountains uh, pretty level I think and then after 10 miles or something like that we're gonna go down the, on the other side and yeah, that's our stretch for today. I hope it doesn't get too wet today, but the forecast for this afternoon is a bit better and a bit, should be a bit drier. So let's go! Ooh, more rain coming from over there. It's such a beautiful stretch and the views are amazing. Ah, oh, such a great day. Wow, this is incredibly beautiful and reminds me a lot of the Pennines. Almost at the highest point for today and the highest point of the Upper Steig Path.
and interesting all the different colors and shapes and textures ah oh, that's so cool Campsite, so basically it's just a piece of grass and a toilet and shower thing. But it's perfect, it was only seven quid, so yeah, really, really great. It has been a bit of a long and hard day. Luckily, the weather was great, it was only a few drops of rain. It was a bit windy, but mostly sunny, so it was all okay. But it was a really long day, I think. In the end, we did 19 miles almost so yeah it was kind of a long day because once you go up the black mountains then it's just it's pretty level um on over the top but it's really yeah it's really long i think it's uh, almost 14 miles just on the top alone gonna have dinner now and rest for a bit and then tomorrow another uh, bigger day to get to monmouth and then it's our last day together. My boyfriend's gonna uh, go back to Germany on Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. We just left Pendy and the campsite there. I think we don't have a very hard day today. It's only about 15 to 16 miles and it's described as a gentle walk so basically just over yeah farmland and meadows so yeah i think it's just a nice countryside walk to get to monmouth and we're going to take the bus there and go to chepstow because i booked a hotel like over two weeks ago because my boyfriend's gonna leave from the train station in chepstow tomorrow morning so I booked a hotel and I thought without the rest day because of the rain we would have made it to uh, Chepstow today which was the original plan so we're gonna go there by bus sleep in the hotel and then Otto and I are going back by bus to Monmouth tomorrow morning and we walk the last stage of the Hoffersteig path tomorrow. My lower back still hurts quite a bit so I think I'm gonna take a couple of rest days once I'm in Bristol in uh, three days. I'm gonna stay with a friend there. It's not a horrible pain but still I can feel it. Yeah, It's okay with a couple of ibuprofen in the morning but yeah obviously I want to I want to heal it but for now just enjoying a lovely walk so let's go our first church of the day and i just read that there are tea and coffee making facilities inside so it's a perfect spot for our breakfast break For coffee. Oh, I can't get over how calm and cute this place is. There's a little inn over there in Raina Wynn's book Landline. She describes, she also walks the Offa Stike path on her walk and she describes this part of the hike that bit between Pandy and Monmouth as it was falling out of time and I can 
really relate to that. It really feels like that. It's so quiet and like you're traveled back in time a little bit. almost in Monmouth now. It was a longer day than expected because there were a couple of diversions on the way. We did 18 miles in total I think and we didn't have a lot of food left only like sweet things like bars and chocolate and we're so ready to go to the chippy now. I'm looking forward to the hotel tonight and to have a long shower and yeah just to wash my socks for the first time in I think five days <laughs> they're so disgusting and smelly everything's great and now some chips <laughs> Hello and good morning! We said goodbye to my boyfriend this morning. He's on the train on his way back to Germany. So it's just uh, the two of us again. We stayed in uh, Chepso last night and Otto and I took the bus uh, to Monmouth where we uh, stopped yesterday and we are hiking the last stretch of the Offersteig path today. So from Monmouth back to Chepstow. Yesterday when we took the bus to uh, Chepstow we drove through the Y Valley which is really nice. It's so cute. There's a uh, Tintern Abbey which I'm uh, gonna hike to uh, today as well and visit it if it's uh, still open. And yeah, It's just such a cute valley with the river Y and some very cute villages so I'm really looking forward to this stretch a lot. The weather today is actually great it's really sunny for the first time in I don't know maybe a week or so it was so unsettled these past few days but it's a lot better now I think it's gonna be an amazing day it's our 12th day on the Offersteig path and yeah we're gonna finish it today in Chepstow. It always felt like it was so far away and now we are getting so close. I'm only uh, a day away from Bristol now which is incredible and I can't believe it and I'm uh, so proud of us and we made such good progress and I'm really happy. But for now we have a little longer day today. I think it's about 16 miles and since we had a late start it's gonna be quite a long day I think. So let's go!
We already did a good amount of climbing today and now we're back on the shore of the River Wye. This is such a nice stretch today. This is Tintern Abbey. It was built in 1131 and back then it was the first Cistercian Abbey in Wales and only the second in Britain. Look at that, it's so well preserved. It looks like the only thing that's missing is the glass from the window and the roof. But apart from that, the main building, the church is so well preserved it's incredible if you think about that it has been here for almost 900 years wow this, this is amazing another lovely stretch along the river and through the woodlands which is great because it's really hot now and we still have another i think five miles five or six miles to go i came off the offer stike path just a couple kilometers before tintern to go and visit the abbey now i wanted to go back on the trail but I somehow missed the spot uh, to go back on trail, which is why I am now on the Tidenham uh, Valley Greenway. I'm faced with this and apparently it's a tunnel and it looks like I have to walk in complete, almost complete darkness for a whole kilometer. The only way is to go through. I'm a bit scared, like one kilometers in darkness. Uh. Okay, ah, it's, it's not too bad. It's, there are a bit of lights, but still it's a weird feeling to walk in there for 15 minutes. This is really a bit scary. <laughs> I've never done anything like that, just walking through a tunnel with no like exit in between. So it's really, I don't know why, but it's really scary. Woohoo, we've made it! <laughs> I'm really happy that we've almost made it. We only have a short walk, maybe 15 minutes to get to our hotel for tonight because it's been a tough day again with the heat 
and the late start we had and it was a yeah it was a pretty long day too i'm really ready for a long rest now i'm gonna go to the hotel and then uh, to the supermarket to buy some food and yeah then just a shower and some rest <laughs> <laughs> 